choice you face won't just be between two candidates or two parties. It will be a choice between two different paths for America. President Obama's re-election is a devastating blow, but it's not a decisive defeat. Over the next four years, he will seek to fully implement Obamacare, to continue exploding federal spending, to hollow out our nation's military, and seek to impose a cap and tax scheme upon our nation's economy. We are in a war. We're in a war to save this nation, and abandoning our post will condemn it to a future of managed decline. Over the last four years, the conservative movement has grown stronger as more and more Americans recognize the bankruptcy of President Obama's vision. Dow dropped nearly a Misguided policies and ideologies. But the higher interest is running at nine billion a week. No experience of business or here. President Obama believes that we can spend our way to prosperity that condemns future generations to becoming drowned in debt. He thinks that 15 bureaucrats in Washington should be able to make decisions about our health care and can choose winners and losers in the economy. You and I understand that should be left to entrepreneurs and the free market. To win this war, we must remain committed to fighting President Obama's agenda. We will work with our friends in Congress to remain true to our conservative principles. In 2014, there will be 20 Senate liberals up for re-election. A strong, constitutionally conservative Senate is critical for this fight. And in 2016, with a deep bench of committed conservatives, we must choose a nominee who can best articulate our shared conservative values. Heritage Action is committed to this fight. We will take the fight for freedom to the halls of Congress, to congressional districts, and to town halls across America. Thank you for what you've done. And more importantly, I ask you to remain involved as we roll up our sleeves and continue the hard work of rebuilding this great nation. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth.